Hi, with the new version of MeshLab, um, most of the, hand, the questions coming from the user uh, uh, regarded the handling of light, because actually there was a button here just right after the rendering mouse, which was a light bulb that gave the possibility to switch on and off the light. And at the same time, if you have a look at the rendering menu, there is no uh, lighting sub-menu anymore. And the lighting light sub menu, uh, sub menu gave the possibility to uh, make small changes in the lighting conditions. Well, actually, clearly this uh, didn't disappear because it's uh, very useful. Uh, but it has been moved in the part related to the rendering and handling the rendering of every single layer. So this is another big change in the new version of MeshNum. There will be probably a couple of uh, tutorials about that. But just let's just talk about lighting. Uh, so everything that uh, was uh, there before with the, the light on and off and also handling the light is now in this sub-menu. So the first part is in shading. With the shading you can decide how to want to make the shading on the 3D model. So uh, the, with the face shading you have uh, the shading calculated for every face. You can switch to the vertex shading. You see that you have a slightly smoother appearance and this is uh, similar to the previous uh, buttons that you had in the rendering mode which were the flat and smooth rendering and uh, the third possibility is the none with the none shading you just switched off the light and you will visualize uh, the object without shading so the on off button is simply here in the shading uh, part of the rendering mode and at the same time here in the uh, last part, you will have the possibility also to switch the different type of lighting, uh, light uh, conditions that you had before. So the basic one is the single light when you have a single directional light, but you can switch to the double side lighting where you have uh, the lights coming from coming from both sides, and you can change the direction. You can. Uh, have the fancy lighting so where you have two lights with two different co colors coming from two direction and uh, uh, you can change the color of this uh, lights by changing the color related to the two directions so you can have this color type of lighting that sometimes is useful and uh, the last thing that has been uh, put in this back, back face sub uh, portion is uh, the culling which is essentially something that is hard to be seen but essentially what you do is that you are not uh, uh, rendering at all all the portions of the geometry which are back face so which normally is looking on the other side with respect to your direction of view so this is just a, a way to render things so you will find everything related to the kind of limited but uh, uh, present possibilities for lighting in MeshLab, not anymore in the uh, toolbar or in the icons here, but here in the rendering mode, uh, in rendering handling the, um, that we will uh, also treat uh, in much more detail in another tutorial. Thank you.